What's up, guys, and I hope your Wednesday is going well. I am still working through this tough book that I shared with you guys a couple weeks ago. Man, it's such a great book. The chapter I'm in right now is talking about our capacity. The author, Greg, talks about a lot about how um, understanding our limits, right? When we overestimate our abilities to endure and thrive, we'll often fall flat on our face sometimes with tragic consequences, and that's what we're trying to avoid. On the flip side, though, if we constantly underestimate ourselves or fail to test our abilities, we're not going to step up to the challenges of life because we feel like we are incapable of handling the challenge or what's required of us. And one way toughness is explained in this chapter is the ability to properly evaluate our strengths and weaknesses and know when to act. And we all struggle with an accurate view of ourselves sometimes, but thankfully, God does not. You know, in Ephesians 2.10, we read this, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. You know, that's a pretty bold promise we find in scripture. This passage means that, that we are loved by God, that we are valued by God, and that we have a unique purpose that he has equipped us for individually. We are his workmanship and he knows exactly what we are capable of, even when we don't. Our true worth, our identity, those things are rooted in the fact that we are His. That idea is hard to put into the matrix that the author uses in the book of book Tough to evaluate our capacity, especially when you have things like Isaiah 54, 17, where it says that no weapon that is fashioned against you shall, pro shall succeed or prosper. You know, that doesn't mean that we won't fall or fail at things in life. It means the ultimate victory was won by Jesus on the cross. We do have great strength through the Holy Spirit, and we will accomplish things for the kingdom that are way beyond our ability or our competency. And all of this has got to be wrapped in humility. So my challenge for you guys this week is to walk humbly in the strength that the Holy Spirit gives us all, the, all believers. Know the source is Him and not you for that strength. Don't let the world or anything in it make you doubt your capacity or your worth as a child of God. And when faced with a tough task or a tough situation, don't hide in fear, guys. Seek His guidance and then move forward. One of the verses I keep in my memory app on my phone and absolutely in the front of my brain day to day is Joshua 1, 9, where it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. We can really be tough in this life because God is with us. He gives us guidance, strength, and the capacity to do great things for the kingdom. Don't be timid, guys. Be confident. I can't wait to see what God does with your life. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you all real soon.